a pleasant morning everybody to our gathering let me introduce myself first i am nirmala i thank sir for giving me this wonderful opportunity to give a speech yesterday is mystery tomorrow is mystery today is gift of heart which is why we all are present don't cry over the past it's gone don't stress about the future it does not arrive live in the present and make it beautiful by the supposed quote you might have got little idea about the topic on which i am going to give a speech yes of course my topic is present is better than past i have naturally little imagination and i am not a very sanguine turn of mind i have some desire to enjoy the present good and some fondness for the past but i am not at all gives to build castle in the air not to look forward with much confidence or hope to the brilliant illusions held out by the future those joys are lost beyond the reach of fate it is not however attempted to be denied that though the future is nothing at the present and has no immediate interest while we are speaking yet it is of the utmost consequence in itself and of the utmost interest to the individual because it will have a real existence and have an idea of it as existing in time to come well then the past also has no real existence and we can still call a vivid recollection of it as having once been and therefore by party of reasoning it is not a thing perfectly insignificant in itself not wholly inherent to the mind whether it is ever was or not neither in itself then nor as a subject of general contemplation has the future any advantages over the past but with respect to our gross patience and pursuit it has as far as regards the appeal to the understanding or the imagination the past is just as good as read of as much interesting and ostensible value as the future but there is another principle in the human mind the principle of action or will of the past has no hold the future engrosses it entirely of itself it is the strong level of the affection that gets so powerful to bias to our sentiments on the subject and violently transposes the natural order of our association we regret the pleasure we have lost and eagerly anticipate those which are to come the good that is past is in the sense like money that is spent which has no good about which we gave ourselves little concern our regret anxiety and wishes are thrown away upon the past but the insisting on the importance of the future is the utmost use in aiding our resolution and stimulating our exertion if the future were no more amenable to our wills and the past if our precautions are sanguine scheme our hopes and fears were of a little away in the one case as the other if we could neither soften our minds to pleasure nor steel our fortitude to the re- resistance of pain beforehand it is not that the one belongs to the future and the other to the time past but that the one is a subject of action of uneasy apprehension of strong passion and that the other passed wholly out of the sphere action into a region the contemplation of the one is a delightful and real as that of other the season of hope all hope has all end but the remembrance of it is left the past lives in the memory of those who have leisure to look back upon the way that have control and came from it catch glimpses that make them less forlorn turbulence of action and uneasiness of this year must point to the future it is only in the quiet innocence of shepherds in the simplicity of pastoral ages that a tomb was found with this inscription i also was cadian i i conclude my speech by thanking you all. thank you sir the good mrithula your speech was wonderfully done you have uh... made a lot of effort in making your speech more effective in terms of preparation and therefore it is something to be appreciated very highly okay 
and uh, a few things sir uh, i want to tell you it will be better if your camera is on uh, then uh, your uh, um, speech uh, was uh, uh, in such a way that uh, uh, you kept on delivering a lecture okay and uh, you get you have to do some uh, modifications in your tonality in the way you speak okay inflection rising and falling inflection uh, is uh, something is uh, which is needed for the speech okay so there should be variation sometimes you have to uh, raise your voice sometimes you have to lower and in your speech from the beginning till the end the tonality was the same okay Uh, you are not aware of it okay you have to try okay suppose i speak when i take class i speak in the same tonality i am sure in 10 minutes all of you will leave the class okay sometimes there should be rising inflection sometimes uh, falling inflection only then it will be like a speech that is where we are driving you to okay and uh, that's why i also gave the name public speaking drive there is a drive there is a push it should take you to the next level which will be possible when you make attempt so in future if when you are trying to give speech it is better that you stand up and give the speech okay when you are seated you are you should be more, more visible okay but you know when in your case first you are visible um little more than towards the end uh, we could see only your uh, forehead okay and uh, i think that you can concentrate on and the rest is uh, all right okay good thank you very much bye bye it was